Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing effects of force on objects. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Force is either a push or pull on an object. It occurs when two or more sub-objects interact with each other. For instance, when you stretch a rubber band, you apply a pulling force. When you press a sponge, you exert a pushing force. Force can also change the shape, size, or movement of an object. The shape of an object may change when force is applied on it. Pushing, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, stretching, or squeezing are some ways of changing the shape of an object. Let's do this! Effects of force on the size and shape of an object Prepare the materials listed below. You may replace this with or other materials available at home. Materials Sponge, any biscuit, any piece of paper, eggshell, plastic cup. Object and material Sponge, what I did to change the shape of the material. I squeezed the sponge. What changes took place after I applied the force on the material? The sponge becomes smaller and thinner. Object or material Biscuit What I did to change the shape of the material? I bent the biscuit. What changes took place after applied force on the material? The biscuit breaks into two and makes it smaller. Object or material Piece of paper What I did to change the shape of the material I crumpled the piece of paper What changes took place after I applied force on the material? The piece of paper formed a circle shape Object or material Eggshell what I did to change the shape of the material. I pounded the eggshell. What changes took place after I applied force on the material? The eggshell cracks into smaller pieces. Object or material Plastic cup What I did to change the shape of the material? I compressed the plastic cup. What changes took place after applied force on the material? The plastic cup was flattened and crumpled. Look at your answers in column B. What are the ways you did to change the shape of the objects? Some of the ways to change the shape of the objects are squeezing, bending, crumpling, pounding, and compressing. Listed below are other ways to change the shape of objects. What do you think will happen to an object if you will apply the following forces? A. Pound, B. Bend, C. Stretch, C. Crumple, and E. Press. If the object is pounded, it will break the object into smaller pieces. If we bend an object, it will change its form and shape of it. Stretching an object makes it longer and thinner. 
If the object is crumpled, it will form another shape like a circle-shaped object. And if you press an object, it will be flattened. Based on your answers above, what do you think can force do to an object? Force can change the shape, size, or movement of an object. Let's do this. Effects of force on the movement of an object. Prepare the materials listed below. You may use other materials at home if the materials listed are not available. Materials Any round object like ball or marble or a toy car if you have. Applying law force to the object. The object travels 5 inches from starting point. Applying medium force to the object. The object travels 11 inches from starting point. Applying full force to the object. The object travels 25 inches from starting point. Trial number 1. Type of force applied. Law force. Distance covered. 5 inches. Trial number 2. Type of force applied. Medium force. Distance covered. 11 inches. Trial number 3. Type of force applied. Full force. Distance covered. 25 inches. How do you compare the distance traveled by the toy when pushed by the weakest force and when pushed by the strongest force? The distance traveled between the weakest force and strongest force is far behind. The weakest force only travels 5 inches while the strongest force travels 25 inches. There is a 20 inches difference. Which degree of force applied made the toy travel the farthest, the nearest? The strongest force applied made the toy travel the farthest, while the weakest force applied traveled the nearest. What affected the distance traveled by the toy? The force that applied affected the distance traveled by the toy. Let's do this. Put a circle on the blank on pictures that shows pushing of an object and put a square on the pictures shows pulling of an object. The first picture is square. The second picture is circle. The third picture is square. The fourth picture is circle. And the last picture is circle. Let's do this. What kind of force is applied in each activity? 
right push or pull on the space provided. Throwing a ball. This is push. Cutting paper. This is push. Clapping. This is push. Turning of pages of a book. This is pull. Tacking a paper on a board. This is push. I understand that force is either a push or pull on an object. It occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. I realize that the stronger the force, the farthest the object will travel. I need to learn more about different forces that can change the shape, size, or movement of an object. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.